In this video of the series Successful Study Strategies, we're going to be talking about a really powerful system that will help you get organized and improve the memory, your memory of what you're learning in class. Two of the key study skills that many students point to me as saying needing improvement. So well, the one strategy that I'm talking about here is called the day folder system, a very powerful way of organizing your information on a day to by day day basis that also serves to improve your memory of what happened during that day. The day folder system essentially consists of two parts at school and one part that's left at home. These parts are the day folder itself which is essentially nothing more than a manila folder which when opened up basically consists of everything that you've accumulated for that day in every subject all your maths worksheets all your English board notes everything goes in to here so you're not spending your time in class at the end of the lesson everything goes in the day folder that is the key to the system and is going to be the core part of the improving memory part you'll notice if you look carefully that a key part of the day folder system is that in the corner of every page that goes in there, whether it's a worksheet, a handout, notes that you've taken on line paper, or whatever it might be, you put the date on the top right hand corner. Very important for a number of reasons. The first of these reasons is to do with organisation. At the moment, many students are depending on an exercise book and quite often those exercise books will be uh, one in which the exercise books themselves are divided into sections with pockets for those loose sheets like handouts and exercises and so on. Now the problem with that is you will then have information scattered all over the place. You will have information within the exercise book, the lined paper, which is then um, attached to the exercise book people are often very reluctant to tear those pages out um, you'll have handouts and worksheets in the pockets of the exercise book or some other plastic folder that people may have and for those of you using electronic devices for recording like OneNote that so information is scattered all over the place and quite often people are out of the habit of putting dates for even studious students who are revising a lot during the exam a lot of time is then spent trying to reassemble or reunite all the various notes that go together in this system everything is dated and everything will be put in its chronological order so handouts that relate to worksheets that relate to board notes are all kept close together so organization is the first thing. The second reason for putting the date at the top corner of each page that you put in the day folder has to do with memory and recall and understanding fully what you're learning in class. And this is based on one very important principle. It has been shown in many studies that Upon leaving a classroom situation where you may have understood and remembered a hundred percent of what you've just been told, that very soon after leaving that door, your understanding of that content will diminish very quickly, so that even just one day later, your memory of that information will be substantially reduced. Now this graph is just a rough sketch to illustrate my point, but it's enough to demonstrate that um, best case scenario even if you were to revise one day later you have to work quite hard to bring your understanding back up to somewhere close to a hundred percent but what's important here is that once you do you will, your memory will still decline but will start declining at a small slower rate so that it might be several days later that 
the need to revise might be there and then bump you back up. Just imagine for a moment that someone does no revising until somewhere close to an exam situation. You can see that to get back to the top will require quite a lot of work and revision. So the benefit of this day folder system is that it takes into account this fact about the way memory works. And so all that means is once you get home that particular evening you take out the very first thing you do in your homework schedule no matter what you might have scheduled for homework that night the very first thing to do is to empty the day folder you empty the day folder into a lever arch file which is a second component of the day folder system which I'll talk to you about in a moment each of these notes worksheets handouts whatever it might have been that's got the date on it and quite simply it doesn't mean to go into a huge amount of detail but you're just essentially perusing or going over whatever the notes were or even the exercises that you completed that day and you're just refreshing your memory glance down that list and just very quickly remind yourself it quite literally need only take one two minutes per subject uh, to empty it into your ring binder folder what that does is simply before 24 hours has passed before this 24 hours have passed you're actually looking at that material probably within six to eight hours of you originally writing it or doing it or thinking about it in some way so you're much closer to that point where you first learnt it very easy to bump it back up to that hundred percent ballpark figure there and you will see it gradually decline again but as I said it will decline more slowly and you might find that if you revise it again seven days later you're still much easier to it'll be still be much easier to bump it back up and this is where another reason for putting the date in the top right hand corner because once you've that's the date that you first revised it you looked at it in class that day you put it in your day folder and you've now put it in your ring binder folder that's your first revision you might find that um, you don't have much homework for a particular subject day on you know, a particular night then you can flick through your file and you might find that you're revising this again um, a week later and you can put in the margin that you've revised it put REV for revised put the new date in there that should say the 20th and you've got a record of when you revised that information so the day folder the manila folder you recall is just the first component of the day folder system number one the second component the second component of the day folder system is your ring binder file and within that ring binder file there'll be some kind of dividers separating each of your subject areas so here are a couple of quick words about the ring binder file why a ring binder file and not an exercise book well as I mentioned before it's got all the benefits of the exercise book but more of them so you want dividers in each of your for each of your subject areas but you only put things in them after the end of the school day or when it's time to empty out the day folder and another thing that you should be remembering to put inside your ring binder file at the very top of all your dividers you put in some loose leaf file paper forget about the exercise book if you put in 10 to 20 pages of loose leaf um, file paper at the front that would keep you going for a good week maybe two weeks depending on your year group it's also worth pointing out that the reason why I select specifically a ring binder file is because you don't really need something any bigger than that most subjects so let's say this yellow one is your math section most subjects will run a unit of work that might take place over three to six maybe seven weeks after that time you don't need to be lugging all that information around with you every day to school that is when you can transfer that information once you've done your test or once you've done the assessment in relation to 
um, that subject or that unit of work in that subject you can transfer it to a lever arch file which you can leave at home or in your school locker in any case this essentially is the third part of the day folder system where once you finish with a unit of work you won't need it for a while until the end of semester or end of year exams and the beauty of it is inside as soon as you transfer it everything is in the correct order because you've got dates on um, every page and whether it's um, worksheets, handouts, handwritten notes and even electronic notes which you should be printing out on every day and putting it in the day folder so that you can revise them quickly and easily. So that essentially is the day folder system designed to get things organized and while you are organizing yourself you're actually improving your memory of the information you're filing.